We're looking at the Siemens Mohr Model 353 controller. This is going to be an introduction to how to change the range points on the analog input uh, that you need to do in your various labs when you're uh, matching the upper and lower value range points with your transmitter's range. This controller uses function block style programming to determine how it's going to react. <clears throat> Factory Configure Option 101 defines these function blocks, analog input, set point, alarm, PID, auto manual, and uh, analog output, describing how the information flows through the controller. We are interested in changing parameters for analog input number one. We're going to set the parameters there in analog input number one function block for the range values we have in our transmitter. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is turn to the alphabetized listing of all the function blocks, analog input right here, we see the, two see the two parameters here are min scale and max scale, equivalent to lower range value and upper range value respectively. So we need to navigate to that block to those parameters and alter them. To navigate, we go through this menu structure here, hitting the enter exit configuration button. We're going to navigate down, <coughs> down and over to where it says edit function block, drop down, dial up the analog input number one function block, and then modify those parameters. So first thing, I hit the enter exit configuration button. It says right here, loop. I want to navigate down and down again. So I hit step down and step down again. Right now it says view, and I'm currently at the view right here. I want to go to the right where it says edit function block. So I use my knob, or I can also use the left and right buttons. I go into edit function block. From there, I step down. Right now it says the block I'm about to edit is the auto manual block. I don't want that one. I want the analog input block number one right there. If I go left and right, you can see all the available function blocks in this particular program. Those are the only blocks I have in the program. Those are the only blocks I can view and modify. So analog input number one, I'm going to step down into that. And the first parameter I see is min scale. If I go left and right with my buttons or with a knob, I see all the different parameters for that function block. And right now, I'm interested in the min scale. Stepping down, the min scale on this is 10. Stepping up, going to max scale, the maximum is 90. So my uh, range values here are 10 to 90. Let's say I want to change that. Let's say I'd like to go uh, 20 to 100. Just shift everything up by 10. I can go into the min scale, drop down, and start dialing up a larger value. And here's the problem with this controller. As you can see, I'm changing these decimal point positions over here, which should be very, very long-winded and tedious for me to try to dial that up to 20. So what I have to do is get clever with my decimal point positions, hitting the left and right button to shift decimal point. Whoops. Now I'm at 20. I can hit the store button to accept that value. Now I step up. Go to max scale, step down. Again, to change this to 100, if I try dialing up like that, it's going to take me forever. So what I want to do is take my arrow buttons, move it right there, dial it up one, use the arrow buttons again, and now I'm at 100. I can store that value. So now I have a max scale value of 100 and a min scale value of 20. When I'm done with that, I hit exit configuration, and my controller is ready to go with a 20 to 100 engineering unit scale.